Hey guys, bringing you another do-it-yourself key replacement video today. I have an Asus Q502LA computer, and I'm gonna be showing you how to change uh, one of the normal keys on here, one of the normal size letter keys. Uh, the reason why we're doing this is because on computers with French inset keyboards, uh, to swap out the keyboard is to basically break it from the palm rest. Um, and the next keyboard you put on will never be as secure. So that's why as often as we can, uh, I like to swap out keys versus the actual keyboard. And since finding these for sale online individually can be hard sometimes, uh, you often have to buy a keyboard and then use it for parts, take keys off of it as you lose yours. So I'm gonna show you how to take a key off safely without breaking it, and then I'll show you how to put it back on safely uh, without breaking it. If you're looking for a video on, on, on one of the larger keys, the space or shift or enter, um, they obviously are gonna look different underneath, so check out the video below in the description. That'll be a video on the larger key. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please let me know, um, and I'll help you out. And uh, now we can get into changing out one of these small keys. So I'm going to take my flathead screwdriver and I'm going to place it underneath this key cap, which is the top part, but I'm going to have it over the retainer clip underneath. And the idea is to hold down that retainer clip while I peel this off so it doesn't bend and break. So I'll do that now and then I'll show you what it looks like under there and what you have to watch out for. So peel it up a little bit, get this under there, hold it down, there we go. So that came up relatively easily. As you can see, my screwdriver is holding down this retainer clip. Uh, they will all generally look the same. They'll they're usually white or black. Uh, it's a two-part plastic retainer clip, an outside part and an inside part. And they're held together in the center with two very thin plastic clips. So be very careful not to break those clips. If they come apart, don't worry, you can get them back uh, together. Uh, there's also a rubber spring in the center that's only held down by glue, so be careful not to rip that up accidentally. Very hard to get it back down. And the clip itself is usually held down in one of two ways. Either four metal pins toward the corners, like in this case, or you'll have a couple metal pins toward two corners and then one metal bar in the center of the opposite side. So this is the most common way to see it, four pins near all four corners. In order to get this up, I'm going to look for the metal pins towards the edge, uh, closest to the edge, which in my case are the, are the top two. I'm going to now push up as much as I can on that clip, try to give myself as much room as I can, while I take my flathead screwdriver and gently try to pry that up from under the metal. Uh, this is probably where you'll break it if you do break it in this whole process, so be very careful doing this. When I get it up, I'll, I'll, I'll give you a close-up shot so you can see what we're trying not to break. So push up there, slowly try to pry that up. There we go. Oof! Shot across my floor. <clears throat> okay, so there's the clip right here. Move that up so you can see it. Okay, so as you can see right here, there's a little tiny hole near the corner here and a little tiny hole near the corner here. That's what was sitting underneath that metal pin. So if you don't pry this out from under it well enough and you just force it up, that will definitely break that and then this won't sit down securely, uh, which means your key won't be secure. So that's what you're trying not to break. Now to get this key back down, uh, we're going to go in reverse. I took the top off first, but I'm going to put the bottom in first now that I'm putting it back down. So I'm going to lay it in there and I'm going to get these plastic parts underneath their metal clips and I'm going to get it lined up and then you should just be able to press and snap those two back together just like that then you bring your key cap over you place it on top you get that centered and then you just press that as well just like that so that's how you would fix a key on an ASUS Q502LA uh, any questions leave me a comment down below if you see something you weren't expecting if something happened you need help with let me know I'll help you through it uh, please like and share if this was helpful and if you enjoyed do-it-yourself computer work uh, please subscribe thanks so much for watching guys